Good morning everybody. So today, me and my buddy Scott are out here on the Appalachian Trail in the Rhone Highlands. We're at Jane Bald and we're getting ready to capture a sunrise here. We've been in thick fog all morning and it's starting to open up now and we're getting some color in the sky so it's looking really nice. I found a rock down here too. I'm going to use as foreground interest with the trail leading in. So let me get set up and we'll see what we can get. Alright, so I've actually ditched the rock and set up so I can have more of the bend in the trail here leading you through the image and through the mountain. Oh, this guy's looking good. Hold on. You gotta wait for it. Oh yeah, that's much better. Take a look at that one. The fog is rolled in and completely taken over. So I'm hoping it kind of lifts really soon. Or else we ain't gonna get much of a sunrise, but we'll get other moody landscape shots with, with some nice foreground stuff, but I want a good sunrise from here. So here's hoping. So I found this really nice rock detailish shot it's got the AT white blaze on it and I got a nice moody scene going on with the AT here since the clouds came in and wiped out our sunrise but I'm gonna shoot this for a little bit and see what I can work up here I really like it so I ended up flipping the composition and I end up liking it better it leads you in better as you go up the hill and you've got the the blades pointing you to where you're to where you're going so this just made more sense to shoot it this way so i found a nice little scene with some ferns leading you in I'm just going to work this up too. Probably use these right here. It's foreground interest. Lead you into that tree. Alright, let's see what I get. So the light is finally starting to get really good. We, are got, we have got a great scene going on here and I just put on a new ND filter I bought. It's a grad ND filter from uh, Koken. It's their Nuances Extreme series, so I'm testing it out right now, but I'm going to post the image right here in just a second of this crazy, crazy fog and sunrise we're getting here. Very nice. And Rune Mountain's starting to peek through on the other side, so we're working pretty quick. We have found a nice spot here along the top of Jane Bald with some nice rocks here. And we get we get an opening every now and then and the sunrise where the sun's coming just up over the clouds, it's illuminating the foreground here a little bit and it's we're getting some nice stuff, so we're just kinda waiting in between the few little breaks and seeing what we can get. But right now I'm set up capturing this. So let me get back at it. I mean check out our view right now. This is absolutely spectacular. Well worth the wait. We have had one heck of a morning up here on Jane Bald. We just keep getting some dramatic lighting everywhere we go. We're kind of on a knoll where we have a 360 degree view and when one side gets foggy the other side opens up and you get more dramatic lighting so it's been a really good morning so pretty happy with it i'm gonna go walk around back here for a minute and see what else i can find but over here about 10 minutes ago it was freaking fantastic we get some light roll up on there and get a little rainbow in there kind of so this was awesome absolutely awesome i can't wait to show you these images but let me get over here and see what I can find over there. 
here to there. I found a nice little spot coming back down uh, Jane Bald right here. It's got a nice tree here with some red berries in it. I have no idea what tree this is, but if you know, put it in the comments, let me know. Um, I'm gonna try to work this scene a little bit, get this tree and the trail in, and uh, see what I can come up with. Check out this awesome scene. We've got some nice foreground interest and some color. Got some dramatic lighting. Got a leading line with the trail. And I've got this tree placed in the upper corner. Just an absolutely beautiful scene. It's working really well here. And the mountain's just now starting to peek through. See, that's where we were earlier. That's Jane Bald up there. So, right here, this all just works. It's so pretty. So check out this spot we came up on right here. We've got some nice color with the fall flowers. Got the AT marker, everybody wants that in their picture, man. It's what helps sells it, so. And then you get the nice leading line. I'm shooting a vertical right now. I'm using my Grad ND. I've pretty much used the Grad ND all day. So, I'm loving it. Koken's made a really, really good filter, and right now I'm really liking it. So I just wanted to show you for a second. We were right here shooting earlier with all those large rocks and stuff. And we had this big view over here where we're standing now. So I ended up getting a really good panoramic here using the uh, rocks here as foreground interest. And we got some nice light that came over here on Jane Bald. So I got a nice little pano that stretched all the way around. This looks pretty good. Got some nice light going on in the background right now. I can't think of a better spot to end the video than here. We uh, were very fortunate today. We got a lot of beautiful, beautiful pics and had a great time up here. We, uh, we got some good light, just awesome morning with some fog. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, click the notification thing, leave some comments below, tell me what you think, where you'd like to maybe see. Next week I'll be doing something a little different. I'll be at the Bristol Rhythm and Roots concert doing concert photography. So we'll see you next week.